Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to the best of the 30 Days of Sketches by Christie's Beautiful Life. And for today's layout, we are doing this one right here, and it is by Laura Rumble for the love of pa pretty paper. And, oh, it's super cute. I am going to save my splatters for the last, although it looks like there's one on first because it's under the pieces of paper. The photo I'm scrapping is of my granddaughter, and I'm using the Tim Holtz dies there called Funky Flowers. And the collection I'm using, well, it's not a collection exactly. It is from my Iris container, and it mostly contains Echo Park summer theme stuff, but it has a little bit of simple stories. I really don't think I use any simple stories on here, but I might. That paper there, the yellow one, I did not notice those dots went into a circle till I actually pulled it out of the packaging. I might have noticed it when I first got it and forgot, but I thought, well, I'm going to go with that. I can always cover the center up here. And the starburst there, it comes out of the corner. So I thought, well, I don't think I need the whole thing since there's going to be a gap between each of the papers. And it's kind of cut off center, it looks like. So I am cutting off center on the half piece, and I cut two papers in a half of a circle. And the bottom one, I decided to go with one of the colors in the photo. And it's kind of a dark pink, and I'm using the yellow polka dot on top, though. Since it is a star sunburst, I don't know if I said starburst earlier or not, but it is a sunburst. And my sunburst might end up being a little more wonky than theirs is, but I like it. So I'm, I'm going ahead and going with it. I'm not going to change it. I think it gets a little more off once I put the photo on there. But I thought as long as it peeks out beneath the flowers that I plan on using that's over there to the left, I'm all right with that. And I decided to go ahead and glue these together before putting them down. I did think about putting one down and then the other, but I decided that way I'd get the exact angles I wanted on them, the parts I wanted to show, because I wanted more of that dark pink and red uh, peeking out than probably is on the original sketch. And I used the pink and, well, two pinks. It's a light pink and a dark pink, which is pretty close to that color in that one paper. And I'm going to layer them. I don't layer them correctly on all of them, I don't think, because it comes like the dyes come like with a piece, well, two flower layers together and a center, maybe two centers. I think one has one center and one has two centers. And I, I am just doing them randomly <laughs> because I thought it would be nice to have something that looks a little different. It's not a whole lot random, but a little bit random. And I did cut them out each in both colors. And then it also has leaves in there. I figured I didn't have to cut any more out than I did because I planned, which I did not remember to set out with my punches. I planned on using the leaf punch from Stampin' Up. And I did plan on using that heart punch over there. And I laid the paper over to the side. It says love, love, love. But once I remember to use it and I hold it, that love paper up to all my flowers laying there, I didn't think it went that well. So it doesn't, the heart does not make it tucked into the flower cluster. And that was my plan. I... I'm going to put the flowers on foam tape, but uh, I did first consider putting the foam tape in the middle between the two and decided not to because I wanted to make sure the whole thing came up. It was kind of an afterthought. I put the picture on foam tape forgetting my plans for the flowers, and so then I had to ad lib, I guess you'd say. I had to make up my mind of what to do after I got the photo down there. I, there was one of that leaf set that had a top and a bottom of the die together, and one has holes in it and one don't, so I put, I cut it out twice 
So one's a darker color and one's a light, and I'm going to put them on opposite leaves. <laughs> so you can tell the difference if there is two on there. And I am cutting the stem off of the one that goes on top because, uh, man, that will be hard to line up. They're so thin and tiny. So I didn't do that. I'm not really good at lining up, gluing right on top of each other. I do it on words, but I just didn't want to do it on the stem, I thought. Oh, that's just more work than I want. I decided after I inked on the flowers that I need to ink on the starburst. So that's kind of after the fact, too. And it shows stitching on the sketch. Well, I did consider stitching stitching. But then I decided to go with faux stitching. So I used my very, very old Zig writer those things are awesome i've had them since i first started scrapbooking and thought oh that's quite the little investment and it was worth it it definitely was worth it because you know as it is now it's less than a dollar a year on them and they're still working but yeah they were like 16 dollars i think and i've been scrapbooking probably 17 18 years so, yeah, less than a dollar's worth. But there goes that foam tape under that picture. Yeah, I should have left it straight on the layout so I could do my other plan. The plan was to tuck part of the flower under the picture and have part of it over, having the foam tape in between. But I'm not doing that now. <laughs> and that pool chipboard piece, oh, my goodness. When I decided on this photo, I remembered that pool sign in the chipboard. I thought, wouldn't that be great to the right of the photo and up on foam tape? So that's what I did with it. It is on foam tape. And that picture is of Charlie, and we were at my brother's house, and it was my nephew's birthday. And he's like two weeks older than the girls. And, of course, they've always gone to his birthday parties and Sometimes the pool was up. It depended on the weather, but uh, they swam all day that day. And this is Charlie getting into the pool. And the driveway's right behind there. They picked that spot for the pool, though, because like half of it in the afternoon would be shaded a little bit from the house. And it wouldn't be quite so hot. And they could get over in the shade instead of getting sunburned. But she was, well... She was debating getting on into the pool. My sister-in-law had to come get her and take her on in there because she was thinking pretty hard about not getting into the pool. But once she got in, she pretty much loved it. Uh, other wading pools, she hadn't been to one that big before. Um, I'm just tucking in the greenery now and I've already punched the little ones from the punch, and I am folding them in the center to give them a little more dimension. I'm not being perfect on it by no means. <laughs> I'm just giving a little squeeze, and then that way they have a little bit of dimension. And I also inked them. But while I'm doing that, I want to mention that down there below, you will find the link to Christy's playlist for this. And everybody that's doing the videos can go in and link their uh, video to that playlist. So all you have to do is hit one button, play all, <laughs> and you've got it made. Um, that little baggie that I showed and pulled out there and dumped, it was from a layout, probably four or five layouts ago. Yeah, and, and, and the layout, the sketch, does not have flowers. However, I've gone several layouts without putting flowers on there. And I was like itching to put flowers on a layout. Uh, I think I can make this work. So <laughs> it's getting flowers. But anyway, that little baggie was left over. And some of them, well, I, all of them I had even glued together parts because they had layers. And they're from Momenta. Momenta, I think it's Momenta, come to think of it flowers it's the ones like you get at Hobby Lobby and um, I layered them and glued them together so that all I'd have to do is put them on that layout well I didn't use them all I used some but I didn't use all of them which is good though I got them for this layout and then the 
greenery that's in there. That is the branch from Pink Fresh Studio, and it's been cut apart. And I am going to ink it a little bit. Well, I'm inking everything. I'm going to ink it a little bit and add it to the cluster of flowers, too. And I planned on putting my title down in the bottom right-hand corner because I was really wanting to put something down in that corner. But I talked myself out of it. I'll have to move a couple of flowers. But it's going to go up there in the cluster, and I am going to succeed in resisting to put something down in that bottom corner. I, a, I figured since I went wild on the flowers, I could at least not put nothing in the bottom corner since the sketch doesn't have it. And my picture is much bigger than the one in the sketch. It's two by two in the sketch, and my picture is a three by four. But as I continue tucking all them in, and some of them are that uh, little flower punch that I like to use, the EK Success one. Some of them are that instead of the die. And there's my title, and it's Make a Splash. And like I said, I had to remove a couple of flowers, so you will see me remove another one, too, to get that to fit. And since they're blue, I'm going to decide that I really need a different color there, so I will be changing that out, too. And I think sequence is all I have left. To, oh, splatters and sequence, because I wanted my splatters to go on top of my flowers, and my sunburst. I really keep thinking in my in my head, I keep thinking that it's one of those windmills from Holland <laughs> with the blades, you know, because some of them look a little bit different. They, well, the, some of them look like sails, partial sails, I guess. And I think of that when I look at it instead of a sunburst now, <laughs> because all the flowers, I am sure. I'm trimming off the excess, which wasn't much because those are the short one so it didn't go very far over anyway I just made it enough where it would go off the page and I'm sprinkling bubblegum pink on here and then I'm going to remember the sequence I would have done the sequence first if I'd remembered them first because I had to wait a few minutes for that to dry but my sequins are going on there and they're by Prima and I really don't think they had a name other than sequins when I bought them. <laughs> because I did buy them a long time ago. And their bag of sequins was so much bigger than anything else I've ever bought. But, uh, yeah, that's it. That's my layout. And uh, I like it pretty good. I like that sketch pretty good, too, though. And there's my flowers. And see, that's why they're called funky flowers. They're just a little, little bit on the different side. But... I like them. They, they kind of look like wildflowers, but then, you know, Tim Holtz touch, you know, well, he said he gets all his from licensed uh, artists, <laughs> and he does not design any, but he picks them out, and a lot of times he has suggestions, and of course his fun names. But there's the pool chipboard, and I think it looks great alongside of my photo. I was just thrilled with that. But if you leave a comment down there below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you who already are, thank you so very much. Oh, and see my background paper? It is waves. <laughs> I can resist that. You know, y'all know I like themes. But have fun on the hop. Try out all the sketches. Hit that playlist, play all. And have a happy, scrappy week. Bye.